What's going on guys, Chance here, and today I'm going to show you guys how to unlock an iPhone 6 if it is locked by its carrier. So, this is going to be a simple, quick, easy video. Um, all you guys have to get or buy is a uh, R-SIM right here. Don't mind my uh, splint on my finger. I'm trying to get a, a focused shot. So, that's what that is. It's basically like a bypass. So, um, I'm going to explain my story of why I bought this and why it works and how it uh, works. So, right now... As you can see, I might have to flip the video if you can't see. It says no service on this Sprint phone. So this is a Sprint phone I bought online. They said it was unlocked, but obviously someone stole it. And it was unlocked, you know, I can go into it. But I can't use it because it was Sprint locked. So it was locked by its carrier. So I have, I might have to flip the thing again, a T-Mobile SIM card. Which T-Mobile and Sprint don't mix, so it doesn't work. So if I put that in... It will still say no service and or no SIM card installed. So this is where this comes in. So I'm going to show you guys how to install this now. And as I said, it's like 20 bucks to get this thing and it's very useful. And it saved me a couple $200, $300 to get in a brand new iPhone because I was definitely going to get a, a new iPhone if it didn't work. So I tried one more thing to matters of my own hands and got this and it works like a charm. It's 100% guaranteed going to work. I promise you that. I have an iPhone 6, 16 gigabyte. It doesn't matter the color, but it should work on any uh, iPhone. I don't know about Android. Android probably don't have that problem. So I'm going to show you guys how to install this right now. You guys can see it already says, let me try to get that in. No SIM card installed. So basically you just take it out like normal. Get your little uh, pin, push pin. Stick it in this hole right here and it pops it out. Pops out this tray. So... I'm going to show you guys how to install the RSIM. So you want to look at it like this. You put, it ha should have like a little, um, a little curve right here, a little, I don't know what you call it, a rounded edge. And so you just line up the rounded edge just like this. And then you, I can't look at the screen and do it, so I got to look at my hand. So hopefully it's in a uh, frame when I do this. And so you just put this in. This is probably the hardest part is lining it up right so you don't bend it or break it because it is kind of fragile. So you just put it in. All right. And you'll know when it's in when you put it in and it doesn't fall, fall out. So I'm going to do this for a second. Give me a second. All right. There we go. So this is, it should have like three dots. I'm going to link it down below this SIM card thing, the uh, R SIM. So it should look like this. One side is like that. One side is like that. And basically what I just did is I put it in between, let me see, uh, this layer. So I put it in between the roundabout like layer. And then on the back, it's in between this layer too. It should have like a little, um, a little extra part right here. So basically what you do is you put your SIM card right on top of this part with the little dots in it. And you line it up like you usually would. And oop, it fell out. So you put it in like this, like I just showed. And so it should be like this T Mobile on one side. And then it should be the circuits on another. And basically, all you do is put it in the SIM card. Make sure you be very gentle with it because you don't want to get the um, R SIM stuck inside of it. And just like that. And that's all it takes. And still says no SIM card installed. But if it doesn't change, then restart your phone. That usually helps. That's the problem I just had when I was making... I, I redid this video like three times already because it wouldn't work because I forgot about restarting the phone. So right now, it, it's in there. It doesn't say anything. So I'm just going to restart my phone. And then once it boots back up, as, as you guys saw, no SIM install. I'm going to restart my phone back up. Give that a second. I'm not going to cut this out so you guys can know that it's genuine. So I'm just laying the phone right there. And for some reason, it's not booting up. Come on. All right. And as you guys can see, I, I have the wrong front. You know this phone is stolen when it's a black background and a white front. This is a stolen phone. It is a Sprint phone. And I have a T-Mobile um, SIM card in it. This will guarantee work. I promise you guys. If you have any problems, just leave a comment down. And I'll show you guys how to fix that problem. Or make another video on how to do it. So I'm going to wait till this boots up. And this light is very, very bright. Sorry about that. I don't want to blind you. I just needed some light. So I'm going to put this to the side. All right. 
Right now it says searching, and there you guys go. I'm going to try to zoom in on this. There you go. T-Mobile, LTE, 4G, same thing. And it's unlocked. See? But the key to this is have an unlocked phone. An unlocked phone is when you open it up, you don't have to sign in, you don't have to do anything, you don't have to put in the password. This is my password. Th that's an unlocked phone. A carrier locked phone is when you can't get your carrier. Say if you have AT&T and you have a T-Mobile uh, phone and an AT&T uh, SIM card. Get this RSM and I guarantee you it'll work. As you guys succeed, T-Mobile up to like four or five bars maybe. You have four bars right now where I'm at. 4G LTE. I promise you guys this will work. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.